It is Friday, July 31st, and this is CONCACAF Video Signals. Today on Video Signals, Champions League first leg preliminary round action concluded last night. We have the highlights. Plus, we'll complete a week of shows with the CONCACAF quiz. We start with the CONCACAF Champions League in Marabella, Trinidad, where W Connection tied the visiting New York Red Bulls 2-2. The host went ahead in the 40th minute when the Red Bulls Juan Pablo Angel nearly sent the ball into his own net off a Hutton Hector corner kick. The New York defense could not react quickly enough. Dominican Republic international Jonathan Frias was there to put it away. Austrian Ernst Obster, making his Red Bulls debut, nodded the score three minutes into the second half. Jamaican international Dane Richards got into the box and slotted the ball across to Obster, whose right-footed shot was deflected before it entered the net. New York went ahead in the 60th minute as a half-passed, half-shot, long-range speculation by El Salvador international Alfredo Pacheco hit off two W Connection players, including captain Elijah Joseph, before looping over goalkeeper Jan Michael Williams. Hewitt and Hector leveled in the 72nd minute as Pacheco missed on an ill-timed header. The 24-year-old calmly collected the ball and sent a right-footed blast to the far post from the top of the box past an outstretched Danny Separo. The Red Bulls head home with two valuable away goals. The return leg is next Wednesday at Giant Stadium, site of the Gold Cup Final. Last season, CCL finalist Cruz Azul started this year's campaign with a convincing 6-2 route of host Herediano, who played nearly the entire second half with only 10 men after Eduardo Gomez's ejection. Alejandro Vela shot the visitors ahead in the second minute, deftly putting in a Cristian Rivero's cross at the right post. Javier Orozco, the leading scorer in last year's Champions League with seven goals, picked up where he left off, scoring three goals, including this one in the 50th minute, to double Cruz Azul's advantage. He made it 3-0 in the 57th, and then Andy Heron replied for Herediano a minute later. Emmanuel Villa restored the Cementeros lead to three goals with this 70th minute header. Orozco completed his hat trick in the 74th minute, heading home a header, his 10th ever Champions League goal. Jose Guiti pulled one back for Herediano, but it was too little, too late. The return game is on August 5th. In Tegucigalpa, Honduras, Olympia overcame Panama's Arabe Unido 2-1. The visitors took an 18th minute lead through the silky skills of Orlando Rodriguez, who froze the Olympia defense with a step over and then rocketed a shot past Noel Valladares. Josimar Nascimento equalized with a 48th minute penalty kick after he was knocked over in the box by Reynaldo Luen. Nascimento entered the game after halftime and sent his shot right up the middle. Olympia won it in the 56th when slack defending allowed Reynaldo Tilguath to dribble to the end line and send a pass to the unmarked Everaldo Ferreira who finished easily from the six-yard box. The return leg is set for La Chorrera, Panama on August 6th. Now it is time for today's CONCACAF quiz. Yesterday, we asked if you can name the Costa Rican team that participated in last year's Champions League preliminary round. Thanks to all who responded. The correct answer is Liga Deportiva Aloense, who failed to advance past the Puerto Rico Islanders. For today's question, we focus on the Champions League. After yesterday's win over Herediano, Cruz Azul has now scored six goals in each of its three all-time CCL preliminary round games. Against which team did La Máquina accomplish that feat twice last year? If you think you know the answer, please send an email to videosignals at concacaf.org by 12 p.m. New York time on Monday.
All those answering correctly will have their names placed into a weekly contest where the winner will receive a CONCACAF prize. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us at Video Signals, your source for CONCACAF News.